Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. This month on Resin Bell, we're going to be doing 30 pours in 30 days. Oh my gosh. Um, a resin on a resin channel? Shocking. I know, right? So we're going to be working with UV resin, epoxy resin. We're going to be doing dirty pours, um, coasters, jewelry, trays, all kinds of different things. So um, it's going to get wild. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today we're going to be doing uh, <laughs> some experiments. Um, so I picked these up at a thrift store and they're just some bamboo uh, coasters. And so I'm going to use these uh, to try out some different techniques with the Armor Art pigment from uh, Counterculture DIY. And uh, this stuff is really great if you've ever used the white um, you would know that that's how you get the really good cells in like your ocean resin for the white waves and stuff And so they have lots of different colors of this stuff. So I'm going to try working with that and creating kind of uh, an alien ocean if you will <laughs> So we're going to go with some non-traditional colors for ocean waves and I'm going with neon purple and gold and I haven't used these two yet so we're going to try those out um, and then I have this uh, counterculture DIY glitter in hot mess and it has some golds and some purples and I'm going to use that as the sand on the beach so we're going to try this out and I wasn't sure which color these would show up the best on so I'm doing one background with black and one background with white and we're just going to see how it turns out so the first thing I need to do is get my my uh, beach sand on there so I'm going to do a little bit on each edge here so before I get to that I want to show you I just painted these with um, I painted this one with chalk paint and this one with acrylic paint and then I taped off the back edge and as well the edges are painted too Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here just to kind of be a bit irregular. Okay, so I mixed up uh, 50 milliliters of um, counterculture DIY artist resin and I put say about uh, seven and a half milliliters in one and maybe like two milliliters in the other. Uh, the smallest amount will be gold because gold can overpower projects so you want to be careful with it and then the larger amount will be the neon purple which I haven't used yet so we're gonna find out what this looks like I'm gonna start with one drop so I ended up going with about eight to nine drops of the purple um, because it wasn't uh, dark enough I think uh, saturated enough and in, in the end if you want nice cells with this stuff you need to go with quite a bit more pigment because the more pigment you have the better your cells will come out um, within reason uh, and then probably about six six drops of the gold all right so first thing we got to do I'm gonna pop some of these bubbles all right so this is going to be our top coat, our flood coat, basically.
that for just a minute. And then I'm going to let my light fall on my head. All right. <laughs> Catastrophe averted. All right. That's not going to show up on that black. And that's all right. That's why we did the different colors. Oh, I like that. That's really cool looking. Okay, so I got to this point on this coaster and I wasn't liking what was happening so I decided I wanted a little bit more of a break between the colors so I added some more resin and that just kind of didn't work and made this hard line and I wasn't happy with how it looked at all so if you have that problem doing a coaster like this and your resin is still liquid like this you can just blow it right off and start with a clean canvas. Your heat gun will blow most of that off and then you can start over again. <laughs> Blank canvas. Look at there. Wiping it clean. So I wasn't super happy with the first way. I mean I really liked the color. That's what really popped out at me. But I wasn't loving the first wave. The back wave was awesome and if I could have saved it I would have. But uh, you know you can't do you do what resin tells you to do sometimes <laughs> so here I'm just adding some more clear resin and uh, we'll start with a blank slate and we'll redo those waves now that I've tried it and I know what I like so yeah
Okay, I think these are cured enough that uh, they can be touched. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look. Look at that. I love it. I love the way that the glitter turns purple one way and gold another way. And uh, I just love the look of the gold with the purple, neon purple armor art. Um, yeah, that stuff is awesome. I love that color. It's just gorgeous. Look, it's got a heart on it. <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. So this stuff is, and then the black one, the black one looks so cool. I really, really love it. I'm glad I went ahead and put that little bit of purple over the top of the gold so that you know you can get that little bit of color in there. So we get the purple and the gold. But yes, I think I prefer this one just because you can really see the purple. But this one is really cool too and kind of classy looking. So I like both of them really. <laughs> <laughs> but think this one's probably my favorite so far. So um, right now, as you can see, this stuff is, um, it's cured enough to touch and not leave a fingerprint, but it's still bendy. So that's a perfect time to remove these, uh, the tape off the back. Fortunately, my tape on this one came loose and uh, yeah, the resin seeped underneath, so that's going to be a little bit of a cleanup job right there, but thankfully it is you know, still pliable and bendy, so it'll be easier to remove than if I didn't. So if you do this while it's still pliable, then the tape will just pull right away. And you kind of pull it up and then you can tilt it so then that I'm gonna have to use an exacto knife on a straight blade and that should just slice right off but uh, so the edges don't look all that great so I think what I'm gonna do on that is um, put some gold on them either gold paint or I'm not sure if this is any good I have to look this up but this is like a gold uh, UV resin kind of product so I might try that on one of them and see what happens so here's this Super easy way to get those off but you can also if you just have regular drips you can also heat them up with your heat gun and um, and kind of cut them off with an exacto knife but that is so cool looking I love it I love it this one just ah oh my gosh it's so pretty I love it Okay, now I can just uh, take some sandpaper and just sand that down, but I, oh gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I am so happy with that. That is so cool looking. Um, I decided to go with the uh, Rub and Buff Gold Leaf Wax, and uh, we'll go around the edge that way.
right, I'm just gonna let that dry and then I can buff it to a shine. So you just basically rub it with a soft cloth until it shines. You can see it shining up really well there. You can see it's kind of dull right there. And you can get it to shine pretty well, like metal. Alright, so that's really cute. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. Look at that sparkle. I love that. It's so gorgeous. Purple, gold, purple, gold, purple, gold, green. <laughs> I love it. That is so cool. Okay, so I could not get that stuff to cure, so I ended up just wiping it off and um, cleaning the edge with alcohol. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Rub and buff on. All right, let that dry, and then we'll polish. So I am so excited with how these turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're just so pretty. I love this. And I am definitely going to be using the armor art. I mean, even, I even uh, managed to get some cells in there, which is pretty amazing. A few cells popping up, and there's some little tiny micro cells that you can't hardly see. But um, I think I didn't mix enough of that pigment in. And if I had, I would have had tons of cells. You can even see them starting to form in there. Um, and then this one as well. You can see how it kind of started forming all these cool cells through here. I just love how these look. I am definitely going to be doing this again and trying the different colors. I have lots of colors. So, yes, super excited. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out Counterculture DIY. They're a Joplin, based, uh, Joplin Missouri based small business. And um, they have the most amazing products. Um, the resin cures clear. It just works so well. Pretty much every product of theirs that I have tried is just amazing and very good quality. And I've actually met the owners and they are very, very cool people. And um, yeah, so go check out their, um, their website and I will leave that link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see all of the videos in this series, 30 pours in 30 days, check the link in the description box below and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.